Hey guys, before I start the video, I just wanted to ask you if you could go into the comments section and let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a tutorial on all the recipes for all the objects you can make in the Ender. That would really help me out so I can know what you guys are looking for. Also, if you find this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials in the future. Thanks, and let's get into the video. First, we're going to be doing the Collision Disabling Glitch. To do this, you'll need to enter a Time Boat booth, just pop your mask in, slide it in, and where you're going to go to is you're going to go to Act 2. Just press Embark, and you'll be sent to Act 2. Once here, wait for the loading screen to finish and you'll get your mask. Once you load in, you'll see the characters all gathering together. Just pass by them and go into this door right here. Once you go through here, take the stairs to your left that go down. So we're going to Sandy's lab, so that's gonna be the first door on the left. Once in this room, go to the far side of the room and grab this beaker off this desk. You should still be able to hold onto it from a far distance, so make sure you're still holding onto it because this is vital for the glitch to actually work. Once you're holding onto this beaker, you can come outside and stick your face into the wall. The screen will go black, just take off your mask. Make sure you're still holding onto the beaker. To test it, put your mask back on stick your head through the wall again, and you should be able to just clip through the wall. This means that the glitch has worked, you can take off your mask again. Make sure you're still holding onto the beaker and look towards the exit. You're, you should still be holding onto the beaker at all times until you get to back to the under. You'll know it's worked because you won't spawn in the gift shop. You can test it on this wall here, and you can see you can clip right through the walls. This will allow you to get onto the stage as well as go past barriers that usually would block you. Next, we'll be doing the backstage glitch. How you do this is, without using the previous glitch, come to the right side of the stage. Back yourself up against the barrier that would keep you from going backstage, then tilt your head backwards. This will clip you through the barrier. To go back through, just walk forward. That will push you to the front of the barrier. This glitch allows you to go backstage. You can go up these stairs and it will let you clip through this wall and you can go backstage. You won't be able to go onto the main stage where the performers are, however, it's still a neat thing to show people. Next is what I call the tutorial room glitch. For this, head down to the under and go left like so into this room where all the posters are. To your right, this wall is actually not real. You can walk right through it. Now this is where you normally spawn in for the tutorial, and when you first enter the game, but as you can see, you can't exactly get down there. So, using the collision glitch and teleport mode, you can see through the wall and teleport down there. Alternatively, tilt your head back against the wall like so, and then move with your joystick towards the room. This is very difficult, however, so I highly recommend just using the collision glitch beforehand. Then, with the pieces on the ground, you can fix this up just like you did in the tutorial, and you can get back up the stairs. This is useful because there's a couple items down here that you can access quickly for glitches that we're going to be seeing in the future. Lastly, for this section, we're going to be doing the waypoint glitch. To set a waypoint, go into teleport mode and teleport to where you want it to be. For instance, mine is going to be here in the under. Then, go back into scrunch mode and continue about your business. Now once you want to go back to your waypoint, open up the menu, and while pressing the scrunch to teleport button, also teleport forward. This will send you back to your waypoint. In this section, I'll be showing you how to skip the normal routes to get to the pool and the sewer system. First, by using the backstage glitch, you can get backstage Go to the far left corner of the stage, looking from the under, 
and there is this section where the floor is not real. You can hop down here as you can see and clip right through the floor. Now moving backwards, you'll be able to clip out of bounds, but you won't be sent back to the respawn point. Staying in place while falling allows you to slip right through the ceiling of the sewer system. From here you can go to the pool or you can leave through the bunker entrance. Next we'll be doing the Shasta poster skip. To do this, go into this room where the tutorial glitch is, and if the Shasta poster is broken like so, you can back up against it just like you did for the stage glitch and tilt your head backwards. This will allow you to clip through the wall, and again you'll just float straight down into the sewer system. For this glitch, make your way over to the top of the pool where you can look in through the window. As you can see, the pool is down below. By manipulating a teleport glitch, we can actually get down there without having to do anything beforehand. So come over to this hill and go into teleport mode. Then stick your hand into the sand. Move your hand around until you feel the controller vibrating. This means that you can teleport there. Then you'll be able to teleport down to the pool. To get back up, you can go up on this sand hill and do the exact same thing back up through this crack. Just move your hand around and you'll be able to find a place to teleport right back up. In this section we'll be doing Mergic, which is where you merge two objects together to give one of them it, the other one's properties or merge them together as one object. First we're going to do a glass merge. It's easier to do this near the bar. First make a food item. Slight correction I need to make, you can actually use any object that can be bitten or broken. So you can use a food item or anything that can be broken such as glass, beer bottles, wine bottles, etc. Take a bite of it, put it in your mask to do a rewind, but keep holding onto the object, then take another bite of it. To do this part with the non-edible object, simply while you're repairing it, have somebody else break it with their mask. Then quickly, break a glass onto it, and rewind. This will make the food object glass. Next we're going to be making a wobbly object, for this you'll need a friend. Make the food object, and then have your friend make two salt shakers. They're going to be making a snail which is just two salt shakers in your mask. Now do the same thing as before, eat the food item, then do a rewind, then eat it completely. And while you're rewinding, have your friend finish making the snail. This will make the wobbly object. Now we're going to do some of my favorite object merges, where we're just going to merge the two objects together. For this one, you're going to need a candy, a pillow, and an onion. First, do the same process as before, making the teddy with the candy and the pillow and your friend eating the onion, this will merge them together and make a fat teddy. Next we're going to be making a coal gun. For this you're going to need to go into the gift shop with a friend, get one of the Coleman dolls and make a slushy by snapping. Then you're going to make use the Angela doll and make binoculars while you're doing the process. So give your friend the Angela doll, or you can have it and do the exact same process while they've eaten it, after they've eaten it, then snap, make the binoculars, and this will merge them together making a slushy gun or a coal gun. Next, we're going to merge objects to make a non-standard growing and shrinking spell. First, you're going to need an engineer book for this one. So to do this, do potato chips and a Coleman doll. This will make an engineer book. This is what you're going to need to make in the process. So, get whatever food item you want, and do the exact same process as we've been doing, and make the engineer book. Then, merge them together. This will make a, a large version of that food object, and it will also have the engineer book lettering on it. Lastly, we'll be doing another version of the non-standard grow and shrink spell. For this, you're going to need your food item, I chose a potato for this, as well as a salt shaker to make a spoon during the process. So, 
Repeat the process again, having a friend either eat the food or make the spoon. You have to eat the food or do the rewind and then eat it again whilst, while still rewinding. Then have your friend make the spoon. This will make the object very large. The spoon is still there, however, it's invisible now. The spoon is still susceptible to spells though, so you can actually make the object even larger or you can make it smaller or golden if you so wish. And finally, we'll be doing flight prop glitches as well as a special glitch that I'll show you at the very end. So, this first flight prop glitch, you're going to need a sword. So to make this, you're going to need two spoons, make them into knives by fast forwarding them into forks and then into knives. Then, do two knives into your mask, do two uh, clockwise motions, and that will make your sword. Now, break your sword on the ground and pick up one of the pieces. You're going to need to make a large potion and enlarge this. So enlarge one of the pieces, then grab a chair from the under and turn it on its side like so. Then put one of the sword pieces on top of it, stand on top of the sword piece, and then grab the chair. This is very unstable, so it might not work perfectly, but it will get you at least a couple feet off the ground. For this next one, do the exact same thing with the sword piece, but this time put it on a large plate. Stand on the sword and grab the plate. This is a bit more stable, and you'll go really high. This next one is one of my favorites because it's much more stable, but it does require grabbing a few items. First, use this tutorial glitch to get back here. Now, go into the closet, and there will be some cinder blocks back here, as well as a toolbox. These are the things you need. So, you can use a small potion to get the cinder block, or you can just grab it with two hands, go up the stairs with it, and have either a friend hold it, or make it small so you can carry it. There's a toolbox down in the tutorial room, but it's harder to get because it usually clips into the shelf. So I like to go just up to the top of the guts, and there's a toolbox up here as well. To get up to the guts, there are some pieces scattered around that you'll have to use to rewind some of the rooms. And this will allow you to get to the next spot in the guts. So first is this dining room looking thing that's upside down. Then there's a tile on the ground that you can pick up, and you'll have to rewind this bathroom. So you can walk across it later. Then... As you're walking away from it, you can keep rewinding until you finish it. Then you should be able to walk across the top after going up the stairs. And finally, you're at the top of the guts. The toolbox is next to the sofa. Just grab that and hop off of the guts and get back to the ground. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your cinder block with the toolbox on the ground, merge the cinder block into the toolbox just by mashing them together. It may take a couple tries, but once you get it, you can pick up the toolbox and you can stand on top of it. This will allow you to go up and down. I highly advise sitting on the ground while doing this because it makes it a bit more stable, but all you have to do is hold the toolbox underneath you and it will let you fly up. Then hold it out away from you and you'll glide right back down. For this next glitch, you'll need a big enough play place to actually walk back and forth to make it work. So to do this, turn on teleport mode, then in your real life play place, walk forward then once you hit a limit turn around then turn your character around in the game so you'll be walking forward in real life walk back to your first position and keep alternating back and forth while you're walking back and forth as you turn in game it'll trick the game into thinking that you're walking in a straight line when you're in reality you're really just walking back and forth this will allow you to float in the air then to get back down to ground level, just press the scrunch button, and you should float right back down to the ground. 
And last but not least, we'll be doing the poison immunity glitch. For this, you'll need a poison food item. Make your poison food item by making a food item and then making an apple to put it in counterclockwise and then snap to make a poison potion and make it poisonous. Now, make your way to a time boat booth and walk inside. Eat the poison food item, but before the screen fades to black, quickly take your mask off and put it in the slot. Then slide it in. You can go to any act, it doesn't matter which one you click on, and press embark. This is actually good because you can do it with the first glitch at the same time when first entering the game. Now, after you get your mask, you can just leave immediately. This will let you be immune to poison. One word of caution, however, is that don't go to the crab pit because then it's very difficult to leave. As you can see, I'll demonstrate that you'll be immune to poison, you won't be sent to the islands, and you can show all your friends and impress them.